NHSFootball.com here with head coach Cornelius Ingram at the Hawthorne Horns. Hawthorne just finally won their first state title ever in school history. 13-2 over Northview, coach. Third time's the charm. Now you state champions. You played for Hawthorne. You went up the road to ULF to play in two national title teams there. Now you come back. Now you're a winner as a head coach. The state championship. What, what is it? this moment like for you finally? Oh, this, this means everything. Um, not only to our football program, but as you can see, our wonderful fan base. Uh, you know, we've been through so much. You know, my pregame message, you know, I basically went back over all the adversity we've been through since the summer as a football club. And, and this was predestined, man. I, I really felt like no matter what happened, we were going to win the game. And we, we, had a lot of, we had a lot of times we could have folded. Um, but my guys never flinched at all all season, man. I'm proud of them. I mean, you didn't flinch at all this off season, uh, during the season at all. 12 and 0 the finish the final record of the year. But coach, there were moments where th that season looked like it might it might have come to a close on you. You know, just two weeks ago, 21-20 against Mahokie. What have you told your guys throughout the season, considering that you know y'all were put on the edge at least a few times? Uh, you know, just always staying true and, and trusting the coaching no matter what. And, you know, it's hard to do, man. You got to think these guys are, are teenagers. Um, their back's against the wall. But, but when you have a great coaching staff like I have, uh, these kids really buy in. And they've been through a, they've been through a lot. And I'm just excited uh, to, to finally get one for Hawthorne. You were coming to this game. Your son, CJ, was dealing with the injury from last week in the game. Jalen Roof was questionable, too. Both of them played tonight. Both of them made some plays tonight. What, what do you got to say, especially for your son, you know, who's only a sophomore starting at quarterback, and then Jalen, who has been a key piece to your defense the last three years? Absolutely. I, I, I'm extremely, extremely proud of both of them. Um, you know, with, with, with Jalen being a senior, he's had so much experience for our ball club. He's always made the right play when we needed him. And then he's just an unselfish leader. Um, goes hard every single day. Even with him being injured this week, he tried to practice on Monday. And I told him, no, you're going to rest the rest of the week. And then CJ, he's a 15-year-old kid who had to back up a Division One quarterback. And when I tell you, when Tyler left, our guys just gravitated to CJ and from, from the summer. And we were fully confident coming into the season that he was the right guy for us. He's a confident kid. Um, he's mentally tough. And as you can see, he has great ability to run and pass. So I'm just happy he came out. He didn't even think about his ankle. And I know for a fact he was 50%. I mean, you look at this game, you know, this was a defensive battle all four quarters, you know. I mean, to get 13 points on, I mean, I, I know that I know the la last year was a was that one bad snap. A couple of them showed up tonight. Yeah. So I'm so I know you yeah. were probably thinking, what's going on? This is deja vu all over again. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Every time we punted the ball, I started playing. Um, because I didn't want the snap to go over uh, the, the, the punter's head. But, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, it happens in games. Even when we got the safety, our guys um, were still confident. We felt like we were fine. Uh, and that's what games are all about. But, but to win the way we've been winning all year, um, some of the personal issues that these kids ha has, has overcome, um, the football game is the fun part and the easy part for them, and this is their outlet. I mean, y'all kept them out of the end zone for minus a safety, basically. Y'all, you kept Jamarcus Jefferson of Northview out of the end zone. You know, he gets 30, 40 carries a game, running that ball. He, he, he's their touchdown machine. Y'all kept them out of the end zone tonight. Absolutely. What, 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 I mean, how, how did y'all do it? Because I know that was going to be a tough challenge. You know, our girls, uh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about my girls' basketball <laughs> team because I got to go straight to them. But... You know, these guys have been reading articles. Um, we try to find different ways to motivate them. And we knew he was a tough running back. Uh, we knew how many yards he had. We knew what side he liked to run to, what side he liked to cut back to. So we did a great job watching film. Our kids took it personal all week with film study, getting extra reps after practice. So we were, we were destined for this moment. Um, our guys were definitely ready, and I'm definitely proud of them. Well, congratulations, Coach, winning Hawthorne's first ever state championship in football. I know that's going to be painted all around town real quick, like with the signs on the Highway 301, too. Yes, yes. thank you, thank you, thank you.